Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Carrie Elkins, Museum Specialist at the Appleton Museum of Art, and this is an untitled work by Takao Tanabe. This geometric abstract acrylic painting measures 52 and a quarter inches by 72 inches. Painted in 1969, it features lines, triangles, and quadrilaterals in blue, yellow, white, black, and shades of gray. Your eye tends to follow the gray, white, and black lines that delineate the space in the work, making the blue and yellow shapes stand out. Takao Tanabe was born in 1926 in Seal Cove, British Columbia, a small fishing village and a predominantly Japanese-Canadian community. The fifth of seven children, his father was a fisherman and his mother worked at the local canning plant until the family moved to Vancouver in 1937. The Tanabe family was forced to live at an internment camp during World War II. Following the war, Takao Tanabe was unsure of his future and considered becoming a commercial artist making signs. He attended the Winnipeg School of Art and in 1950 went to New York City to study abstract expressionism with Hans Hoffmann. After returning to Vancouver, he worked with printer and book artist Robert Reed, an experience that sparked his interest in printing, which led Tanabe to London in 1953 to study printmaking. His travels while in Europe exposed him to various art and landscapes. He later visited Japan to study painting and calligraphy thanks to a grant in 1959. He returned to Vancouver, eventually forming his own press called Periwinkle to publish poetry and was the head of the commercial art department at the Vancouver School of Art. In the late 1960s, Tanabe split his time between New York and Philadelphia, later teaching at the Banff Center before settling in Parksville, British Columbia, outside of Vancouver. Beginning in the early 1970s, Tanabe moved away from abstract paintings to minimalist landscapes, mainly featuring the west coast of Canada. When looking at abstract art, we can focus not so much on an accurate depiction of reality, but on the use of space, colors, and forms. The bulk of Tanabe's earlier works were abstract expressionist pieces that evolved into more eccentric geometric abstract art in the late 1960s that were representative of Vancouver hard edge painting. Hard edge painting was a term used to describe abstract paintings of the American West Coast in the 1960s that were known for their impersonal execution, flat, bold colors that extended across the work, large shapes, and sharp outlines. There is also a commercial nature to this work. Tanabe was interested in and taught commercial art, and the bright blue and yellow colors reflect a logo-like quality. Some hard edge paintings feature monochromatic elements, which we see in the grayscale diagonal stripes that create a mirrored pattern of color, as well as in the subtle shades of blue in the horizontal bars in the right half of the canvas. The blue and yellow horizontal bars appear perfectly balanced in shape and color, creating a mirrored uniformity. Tanabe's lines are so precise that one would think that this work is machine-made, not hand-painted, which is a credit to Tanabe's mastery of the brush. He has mentioned in past interviews that he intentionally tries to eliminate the appearance of brush strokes, especially for his landscapes. As we see in this painting, the surface of the canvas is flat, with no evidence of brush strokes. While this work is untitled, many of Tanabe's abstract works have titles that are related to landscapes. Even some of the color choices reflect common aspects found in landscape paintings. The central blue and yellow triangles resemble a horizon line between earth and sky, the yellow bright like the sun and the vivid blue like a clear sky. When compared to Tanabe's landscapes, such as this work also in the Appleton's collection, we can see hints of how this period of his geometric abstract works informed his later landscapes. There is clear delineation of space due to the sharp edge between land and sky, with a small pop of green to the right of the canvas. Some of Tanabe's other landscapes of British Columbia are reflective of his favored weather, gray, wet days. Tanabe's monochromatic use of gray are almost a precursor to those landscapes. Perhaps an underlining subconscious choice when painting some of his geometric abstracts that progressed and evolved into his later work. After all, Tanabe himself once said, perhaps I was always a landscape painter. Thank you for listening. 
We look forward to sharing more about our world-class collection with you in the next Art Minutes. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.